So now we're going to test if the injector actually works and opens and closes. Um, because a lot of the times they gum up and they, they won't open and they'll be locked shut or they'll be locked open. So um, we want to just test that by getting... Uh, we've got a plug there off an old wiring loom. We've plugged that on. we just got some gator clips. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you find the plus side on the injector, the positive. And once you do... We no just note that down, and we put this wire on, and we just put that on the plus and that on the negative, and by taking the wire on and off the battery terminal, you'll be able to hear if the injector is opening and closing. If the injector does not open or close or respond to this, you either have a faulty injector or a very dirty injector that will need ultrasonic bath to have it freed up and working again. So we've checked this injector across the battery and we've found that it's working. But if you've tested it and you can't hear it working, there's either two things that's happening. Either the injector is really gummed up and it's locked off the disc from working, or the injector is faulty and you'll have to renew the injector and get a new one. So here's an injector that hasn't been cleaned yet. You can see how bad it is. This, this injector does not pulse, so it's either faulty or it needs a very good clean in an ultrasonic bath. There's no real way to get that working unless you have an ultrasonic bath to do that. So if you have a look at my next video, we'll show you how we'll clean up this injector to get it to work again. Thanks for watching.